frustrated with what they're doing. They are bodying her a bit, but they keep the hands away. Oh, great start for Gregory here today. Six points early on in this opening quarter. Well, well Mickens has had trouble against the press in the past, and there she goes, uh, double team, got, got her, and she put it behind her back, and they stole it. Three schools, again, that she's helped guide to the NCAA tournament. And the three-point stroke from Lewis. They don't need to be chasing people that aren't three-point shooters. Uh, Travis Mays giving people opportunities to be a difference maker here in this ball game. And Mackenzie Adams with her first stroke. Adams trying to go back to back. Conference. Adams has been the difference maker here. Brant looking for a three. Got it. Her sixth triple on the year. She was the leading three-point shooter in Division II before transferring with her father over to Dallas. And just like that, the Mustangs have a lead here in the opening half. Reese open from the wing. Got it. She becomes the most recent Mustang to join the three-point parade here in the second quarter. That kid probably, her basketball IQ is off the charts. And Alicia Froling finally gets one to drop through the rim. Face Gardner. Polacek with the rebound. Bolton holds her ground. Great dish by Polacek as she finds Lewis on the opposite side of the lane. And three-pointer good from Lewis. Rolling. Gets the bucket. She has nine, and she'll look for her tenth point at the line. I think the key is just to have them pass it to her at the high post. She's there. It's just a little floater, high, high, a little high touch pass there. She sees that she's got the whole lane to get up to the rim, and she attacks it. Opportunity will go again from the post from Omakori, the sophomore. Collins the other end and easily gets those two points right back. Lewis with the rebound. Two on one. Great pass from Lewis. She finds Gregory. 17 points for Leah Gregory, and the Knights will take a timeout and try to bottle this up. Midcourt, of course, a few years ago, the women's game adopted the clock in the backcourt. And that is Gregory now, 19 points today. She had 22 in the last meeting against SMU last March in the conference tournament. Timeout, Morgan Bolton and SMU, a 30-second timeout. Adams with a big stroke, a two-possession lead back intact for SMU. That's too much time. Lewis a long two. There you go. Out to Gregory. Next foul would lead to free throws. 0 for 3 are the Knights, and Bolton finally has it for the Mustangs. Got to get a foul. And there it is from KK Wright. So Bolton, who's been quiet compared to that breakout shooting performance against Memphis, when she was 5 of 6 from beyond the arc, is going to get to contribute here late in a different role simply from the free throw line. Already eight points today for Bolton. Again, she too from Duncanville High School, former state champion, now a senior, averaging five points a ball game. And she's now made these last three free throws. Bradshaw comes on for Collins. SMU gets an inch taller. This is a seven-point lead. That's now three possessions. It was a big free throw there a moment ago from Bolton. And there's just .7 seconds difference between the two clocks. Timeout, Coach Abe in UCF. It'll be a full timeout. Half a minute to go. The Knights are looking up at a six point, making an eight point deficit right here on the road in Dallas today. Access to traditional prosthetics for kids is challenging. At Luminous, my goal is really to give them a chance to chase their dreams and to instill confidence so that they can go after whatever they want. Viver o sonho 
meu, do meu filho, sendo realizado. Isso não tem preço. The labs at UCF were so instrumental. I couldn't be in a better place. This is where I call my home. Well, some future Mustangs taking in this one. Again, a lot of young ladies will have a chance to do some clinics, not just with the women's basketball team, but student athletes from all sorts of women's programs at SMU that we saw at halftime come out and wave to the fans. Well, the Mustangs trying to start off the day on a winning note here on the basketball court. UCF has shown off its defense at times, frustrated SMU, never giving the Mustangs even a chance to set up their offense. But as of late, a few mistakes down the stretch, and UCF just has not been able to erase what was a 10-point halftime lead. They got back within two, only to see some Morgan Bolton free throws, four now in the past half minute. Stretch this lead to eight for the Mustangs. Minor, stay tuned. Upon the conclusion of this ball game, we'll have a chance to talk to the winning head coach and one of the key players in this contest. Go inside and a nice start. Only takes five seconds off of the clock as Gregory adds now 21 points for her outing. One point shy of that overtime performance against SMU. And UCF will call another timeout. And actually, pardon me, it'll be SMU who calls the timeout. So Gregory gets it back to a two-possession ball game. Knights will need to force a turnover. If they can't do so quickly, they'll have to foul and send SMU to the free throw line. This is crunch time. So many of these teams in the middle of the pack in the conference. These are the moments that they have to be able to recognize how to elevate their game and the difference between a close win and a great comeback. Into Bolton, who's made her last four free throws. And they do have to foul. And that's on Lewis. She has fouled out for the ball game. Her fifth, Zakira Lewis, 15 points against SMU here today. And that removes one of your better three-point shooters. Obviously, the program's all-time leading three-point shooter uh, from the equation here. Morgan Bolton here in crunch time has made five in a row from the free throw strike. And she is now in double figures with 10. And I'll correct that, 11 points now for Bolton. And she'll miss the back in. But it's a three possession ball game with that lone free throw. They'd be wise not to foul. Gregory with 23 here on the road. Easier said than done when you're told to foul Morgan Bolton. And that will be the fifth foul on KK Wright. Wright held scoreless today. Will come out Polacek in her place. And this was a grind out victory presumably for SMU. Now 14 seconds away. And Bolton's now missed her last two. UCF still with a chance, even with this free throw. It would be a two possession ball game. You need a quick three and try to force a turnover with the press. So the Knights need a couple of triples. Gregory, oh, she'll keep it within reach. Down by five. Gregory won't get it off in time. SMU has won back-to-back -back home games as Travis Mays' Mustangs will move right back into the middle of the pack in the American.